good. Cutting match. Yeah. just to show what happens. Yeah. So you tighten this down. Try not to hit it, says the girl who has hit her own tool, because this head will break. Um, Thanks. Fine, right? 
Two. Two. So I get here. Can I borrow your shoes? If I try and put this into here, I run into the bolt. The shizzle piles that we keep separate? Yes, it's called shizzle. Shizzle? Shizzle. You don't have to. And then you can continue. And I will set this up so someone else can do the first one. <laughs> Keep this. If these come off the edge of the table, these will drop and hit the ground. And they will then not cut circles. Because if these bottom edges get messed up. Um, so, careful. This one's expensive. And it does a good job. The other way of doing this, if we've got these uh, three quarters, now do you, do you? I've got a chunk of wood right here. Oh. Right, just make sure you're not seeing any gaps as again. Uh, just because right, there's the there is open here, so you can see that. But then it's just a case of giving it a couple of things. Exactly what I thought it would be. Right, and so it's going to start making that circular impression, depending on how sharp these things are. It's not guaranteed. Yes. Do you want a more aggressive yeah, I, mean, I mean, the other option is like, if you just ma marked your circle, you can just take the snip and just cut them out too, right? Period coins are not perfectly round. In fact, they are sometimes hilariously not perfectly round because they didn't actually care about the shape, they cared about the weight. <laughs>
found, you end up with like a clinker. Clinker. That's it. I know because we dig it up. Yeah. I'm an archaeologist. So, oh, yeah, we're, we're digging. It used to be a farm in uh, Creek Paradise. So at this point, you can't tell that it's still hot, right? Mm. I can't see it, but, but I can tell when hot. I hammer it that it's still pretty hot. And then you want to, as near the end, you kind of want to put a little notch in it or uh, make a little point. So when you're doing that, you're kind of bracing your hand against your body. Okay, I lost my heat. So. Yeah. <laughs> Give that a few pumps and we'll uh... So we're going to put this rod in here. This would be like the horn on the anvil. But like I said, you don't need that, so we're going to do the bend mostly on here. But you're welcome to go ahead and use this. So. Okay. Oh, okay, you can stop for a sec. It's not really red. But uh, so to bend on this, you're going to. <laughs> so you're, you're bending on the hard, on like the sharp side, on right? the round side. On the round side. Okay. Right. You can do the same thing here. <laughs> Usually, when you bend, Not the way everyone else thinks. No. <laughs> you would want to kind of reset it there so it ends up kind of straight again. So the metal wasn't. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Everybody's yeah, starting to you know, think now. that they're done, but you're only yeah, like a quarter of the way. Right? <laughs> Nick up. Here we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is a tighter bend, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you want to kind of have a little loop. loop so that you can hang it up. <laughs> kind of inching this forward. and curving it, okay? And then you come back onto the top. Once again, I'm bracing it against my body. That's kind of evil. That's what all masters are. I know. And that's kind of the idea that we're after. That's for the first bend. And then we'll do the second one after. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the thing where we don't want a big hole in there. We want it. Spin around, that's good. Can you see very well? Keep it there. You can heat it up, it gets like super flexible. You can be fucking thinking that. Any more than that? Whatever you think. Yeah, I don't know. I like the big loops. I don't know. The loops are like. I mean, you can make both for cosplay. I don't think that I'd probably stop for that one. Yeah. Tongues. Plant. And then you're going to play around on the anvil there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, that's posted on the website. No, we expect it to be because it's, you know. So the idea is to make a Anglo-Saxon sax, S-E-A-X is how you spell it. So this is a single-edged knife. Okay, so it's got a thicker back. It's just like your kitchen knife. So it's a general purpose. Um, we don't want to make a two-edged knife because, first of all, that's usually a weapon. Mm -hmm. And second, you can cut your thumb really easy on those. Yeah. And you're probably going to find it hard enough just getting the one edge flat. Okay, so we have different sizes. These are actually really big. This one's about normal size. These ones are too big. So I would suggest, it, I mean, you can make whatever you want, but the bigger the knife, the longer it's going to take. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's going to be the same thing where there's like one person on the bellow mm -hmm. hammering and I just want everybody to rotate This is through. the tang. Mm -hmm. So the tang needs to end up in the center 
for this kind of knife. Some of the knives that you buy, like a kitchen knife, will all be flat and you put rivets through. Mm -hmm. These ones weren't made that way. They would have bored out a hole and then set the knife in it. Mm -hmm. A true CX wouldn't have this at all. It would just be stuck in and this would be wood. Um, but we're going to make them this way. If you want to go period and not do that, that's fine. We don't have to pewter set them. Mm -hmm. We have handles that we're going to set. So we're going to carve the handle. Is that red oak? So, well, we're going to make the hole bigger. Oh, I meant the wood. Is, is, I said, is that red oak? Uh, this is uh, walnut, I believe, or cherry. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, it's almost an insult to say we're going to make a knife in four hours. Took the whole art of it, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, The idea here is you're hitting it flat. You're just widening it at the beginning. So this part, you know, you're, you're not going to make a mess of it. It's just like when we were doing the fire poker. Mine this one is the second. I was going to say, that one's mine. Okay. So I'm going to hop on. Oiled it, the wood. Oh yeah. Oh. Mixture of um, oh. Carnauba wax and pine resin. Oh yeah. And that gives you a light. It's grippy, but it's not sticky. It's, it's wonderful to hold. I love it. Okay. A really industrially produced clearing wall. Sorry, what's that? Oh, just getting air. It's not your plug. Okay. Yeah. Oh, So that's the fold I'm talking about that you yeah. just saw, so don't let it fold. Yeah. I, I saw that as soon as it happened. Alright, so I've got that curve going, so the same idea is just, it seems like you're wrecking what you just did, but you're not. So. It's like a very dense plate. -out. back, the knife a little bit, see which kind of pushed it a bit more towards the center. Don't worry too much if it looks crappy in there because we're going to use the pewter to hide all that. So then the idea is to flatten this piece. said you can't tell how hot that metal is because the sun is out which is and then you're going to make it round so you're holding it at a 45 degree angle okay so the idea is make it round and thinner a little bit thinner and the, the tang should end up being about that long. Okay. It's the width of your fingers kind of thing. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So like I said, it's hard, but brittle. Yeah. You definitely brittle. You gotta do that oven for a while. It should be orange. So you're gonna take it out. Yeah. And hold it. And I'm gonna hammer the snot out of it and cut it off. Okay. So we'll just get it hot again. You bring that out. On the tip. It's hot on the tip. Lay it on the anvil. Ah, oh, free. Here we go. And watch your feet. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Too much to 
first. <laughs> that should be his. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Right so right there? Yeah. Sure. Hard. Yep, you're almost here. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Nice. Huzzah! Here's the uh, stars. Oh, you got the mirror. Yep. Nice. It's the red thing. I think that one's my one. Yeah. See, but then linguistics, you know, there's no, there's no, you know, it's just, it's just meaning, you know. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. That's who's, good. who's that one? Okay. Yeah. Ready? Dump it in. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's good? Oh, I think it's four. But... Yeah. Go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that pipe is so hot. Really it's getting, getting close enough to it to do this. I think my tang bent. Okay. Because you're getting that yellow color yeah. off of it. Mine. Okay. Okay. That doesn't mean that these didn't get a temper. Uh huh. Um, we could bring them up to heat. I see this one's starting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one's done. So you can yeah. hammer that whenever it's hot and straighten it. This one here, maybe we'll pop the lid on for just a couple more minutes. No. Well, we're just going to call. I can see a little yellow sheen on that. They're all kind of getting a slight yellow one. If you left them in here longer, you would get a much better temper. Yeah, just right there. Right there. Yep. Oh, okay. So you're, you're setting it, you're, you're setting it as a knife in by pouring pewter oh. and after it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I think mean, that's much better. Your cake? Yeah, it is better. Right. Good. Awesome. Uh, right. Do it really quick. Like, okay. really quick, because the pewter cool. Yeah. <laughs>